Hey YouTube, this is Mike at Hudson Valley Hi-Fi, back with another video and kind of an overview video of one of our very popular products in the store, the Rogue Audio Sphinx Integrated Amplifier, and this is the version 3 of this amp. So this is the current model. This was the model released in the fourth quarter of 2019, this revision. And Sphinx has been around for a while. It's a, it's a long-running amplifier from Rogue. And every generation has a couple little different upgrades that they've done to it. Uh, phono sections, some of the line stage parts. And this is the latest, and it is the greatest of those models, I believe, um, for numerous reasons. So we'll go over a couple basics of this amp, why it's such a good value, and why, if you're in the market for, you know, an amp uh, in the $1,500 to $2,000 area, I think you really should have a look and a listen at this amp. So the whole premise of the Sphinx is that it's a hybrid amplifier or a hybrid integrated amplifier. It's actually a tubed preamplifier. So the preamp section, which you can kind of see the two 12AU7 vacuum tubes, um, they're right down here in this small window on top is the preamp section. So the variable and fixed preamp outputs coming off that tube section. There is a slow startup design. So we'll just come around to the back of the amplifier here quickly. This is the rear panel. And you have the power switch on the back, which puts the unit into like a standby mode. And you should leave it in there all the time. You know, as long as you're gonna be playing it, just leave it in standby. And on the front is the actual power button, which gives you about a 45 second to a 60 second startup when you first turn it on. And you'll hear a click inside and the sound comes through. And that's just basically giving the amp some time to let the tubes warm up, let everything come up to speed. And that's it. So the preamp itself is the tube preamplifier. And then this feeds into a solid state amplifier. And the solid state amp in here is a class D module. It's built by Hypex. It's one of the, the best class D amps, in my opinion, that's available out there right now. And it's been kind of tried and true in this unit. You know, the former generations have been around for quite some time now. And, you know, they really have proved themselves to be super reliable. And customers just love the sound of these. They, they have that rich tube sound that it's a little bit of warmth to it but yet it has plenty of power. And the beauty is there's really minimal maintenance. You know, the, the tubes in the preamplifier, they're gonna last you a long time. You're not gonna really have to be replacing them quite as often as you'd have to replace power tubes in a, in a power amplifier. So it's sort of a tube sound with just the enjoyment. There's very little maintenance involved. There's very little worrying about tubes going bad. And Rogue Audio's tube amplifiers Likewise, you know, you get incredible tube life out of them. They, it's again, it's a very modern product. It's not like the old days where you're dealing with damage to the amplifier because of bad power tubes. And it's just excellent products that they produce. So this unit is 100 watts per channel. Um, it's rated at 100 watts minimum, and it gives you plenty of power to drive many, many loudspeakers out there, both, you know, in this price category and even above. We've, we've run, you know, speakers, um, real power-hungry speakers with this amp, and it, it manages to push them around pretty well. In terms of inputs, as you can see right on the front, you've got a phono stage, which in this unit is moving magnet and moving coil. Um, inside the unit is switching, um, and it's some adjustments as well. And you've got three line level inputs. So, you know, CD player, tape decks, uh, network streamers, any of that kind of stuff you want to hook up to it. Or if you have a phono stage, an external phono stage, you can go into one of the line level inputs. Balance control, volume control. Real simple. Really, really simple. It is a motorized volume control. So when you do adjust it using the remote control, which is really quite simple, um, you do have volume up, volume down, and mute which pretty much is all you really need in an amplifier. Um, go back around to the rear panel, which is to show you all the connections back here. You got five-way binding posts for your speaker connections, an IEC socket, so you can 
hook up different power cords. If you really wanted to uh, explore the world of power cords, you can hook up different ones, but it does obviously come with one. You've got a ground for your phono, and you do have your phono jack next to your three sets of line level in, fixed out, variable out. One of the upgrades to the version 3, um, I believe Mark O'Brien, the designer of the amp, had mentioned about uh, the variable output is now coming right off the 12AU7 tubes. So using the variable output, you will be getting basically a pure tubed tuner, vacuum tube tuner, I'm sorry, preamplifier coming off there. And other than that, here's the front panel once again. This is the black version. So the black version, it's, let's see if I can get it for you here on camera, it's kind of a brushed, anodized finish. Gives you that kind of brushed look. Uh, it is available in silver as well. I really think the black on this is, is quite sharp um, with, the, with the silver knobs. So what's the beauty of this amp over many others? Um, you know, some in the same price category. Uh, it definitely is the tube sound. You know, if you're after that vacuum tube sound and you don't want to deal with all the stress of power tubes and matching and, you know, worrying, well, oh, what's the life of my tubes? This thing, it's just foolproof. There's a headphone jack dead center. Um, and in this unit in particular, this version, um, it is a MOSFET driven uh, phono amplifier, which I, from what I believe it is discrete parts and it is MOSFET based, which is kind of neat. So you can drive some difficult to drive headphones with the headphone jack on here and using the built-in headphone amplifier. And this little spot here is actually just the IR receiver for the remote control. So one of my favorite features of this amplifier and all the Rogue audio products in general, um, they are all designed and they're all handcrafted right in Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania, which for our shop is a little over two hours from here. And, you know, it's a smaller company, but not really small. Um, they've been around for quite some time and there's a lot of folks there building amps and you know, running the company, shipping these out. They pack them extremely well. And we're very happy to have them right in our backyard producing really, really well-made, you know, made in the USA equipment. And the design is beautiful. The chassis are wonderful. They're very, very simplistic, very minimalist, I would say. You know, and even their, their amplifiers are sort of the same way, very industrial looking, um, just tough looking. And that's, that's really the appeal. They're eye-catching. And... No, yeah, absolutely love their products, and you really need to hear one of these. If you want to hear what the next level of audio can sound like, this is really it. Uh, it's a lot for your money. It's a great value. So what do we run on these? Um, what type of speakers in our store? Um, we run pretty much anything in the mid-size floor standards all the way up into larger floor standards. Um, a lot of different bookshelf speakers will go nice with it. What's always shocked me about this amp, is that it will run speakers like horn-loaded Klipsch Heritage, speakers that are very kind of known to be bright, bright and heavy, just very, they can be obnoxious sounding if you have a really bright amplifier and a thin amp on them. It's not giving you enough oomph. And that's an efficient speaker, so you don't need a lot of power. And solid-state amps don't usually go well with them. But the Sphinx, because of the way it's voiced, using those vacuum tubes in the preamp, despite having a solid-state amplifier, is one of my favorite amps to run on Klipsch Heresy, Klipsch Forte. Uh, even the Cornwalls, you can run this amp on them, and it will just sound wonderful. And again, not dealing with tube power amp, just the tube preamp, and you still get that warm, smooth tube sound, what you want out of a tube amp. Uh, without dealing with the tube amp. <laughs> it's very simple. So again, let me come around back one more time and get a look at the rear of this amp. We actually just took this out of our rack. We were running this um, over here with our Klipsch Forte 3s. And we just took it out of service for the video, but it uh, has been playing wonderfully on them for the last few weeks and breaking those speakers in for us. So again, this is the Rogue Audio Sphinx Integrated Amp version 3. If you have questions about the amp or questions about any Rogue gear in general or questions about anything that we carry, please give us a call, 
219-219-1730. You can email me personally, mike at hudsonvalleyhifi.com. Visit our website, hudsonvalleyhifi.com. You can also text our number. Again, it's 845-219-1730. Thanks for watching.